Hello, my name is Amanda Little and I teach eighth grade ELA here at the Clyde Savannah Junior Senior High School. Uh, I, want, I put this slideshow together to tell you a little bit more about our eighth grade ELA class. So ELA 8 follows the course that has been outlined by the New York State Next Generation ELA Standards. Students will continue to work this year to strengthen their reading, writing, vocabulary, and analysis skills through the close reading and discussion of various literary and informational texts. So basically my goal as their teacher this year is to make them stronger readers and writers. Uh, some of the main texts we will read this year are Inside Out and Back Again by Tang Hao Lai, To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee, Unbroken by Laura Hillenbrand, and The K by Theodore Taylor. And we'll do various other readings that connect to these main texts. Some of our course expectations, our required materials, um, mainly much of the work we will do will be on the Chromebook. So students should bring their computer and their charger with them every day. I do have some chargers they can use in the room, but if they can bring their own, that'd be great too. Great too. Uh, they need to bring their planner if they wish to leave class for uh, a bathroom break, go to their locker to get a drink, copy of the class text, something to write with such as a pen or pencil, uh, a folder or a binder to keep their materials organized in and headphones or earbuds. We also follow CS Rocks, Respect and Responsibility, On Task, Citizenship, Kindness and Safety. Some more of course expectations. Many behaviors will not be tolerated in this class, just like in school in general, bullying, fighting, and basically any behavior that disrupts the learning of others. Uh, cheating and plagiarism, we've talked about this uh, this year already, just as a reminder, but I do take those very seriously. And we also adhere to the uh, district cell phone policy. Cell phones are not to be used, seen, or heard during instructional time. And attendance, attendance is a huge piece. Attendance for class is mandatory, and it's the student's responsibility to contact me about what she or he has missed in class when absent. So whether it's absent for a medical reason or um, during quarantine or whatever it may be, uh, it's really important to uh, have the student reach out to me so that I can get them caught up on whatever work they're going to miss. Grading procedures and late work. Uh, I keep it fairly straightforward. All assessments, whether that be a quiz, a major essay or project or assessment, those are worth 40% and it will be a point-based grade. Uh, and the same thing for class assignments, which are worth 60%. Short writing tasks, such as the short responses that we do, uh, reading questions, other classwork, um, exit tickets, entrance tickets, all of these things will be uh, housed under the category of class assignments. Um, anything that we're not finished with during class becomes homework and it becomes the responsibility of the student to finish it. Work must be submitted on the due date given and failure to do so will result in zero credit until work is turned in and a parent will be contacted. So I like to contact in various ways, which I'll be continuing to outline in this presentation. Um, I do accept late work, but once I give a final due date, if the work is not turned in, student has not turned it in, then a zero will be the grade that stays. Google Classroom and uh, student email. Uh, this year, again, the majority of the assignments for this class will be located in Google Classroom because you never know what might happen. And I want to make sure that everybody has access to all assignments. Um, it is the student's responsibility, as I mentioned already, to make sure they uh, turn in work by the given due date or they may not receive credit until it's been submitted. And I do keep on top of this as well as sending reminders. Um, if a student is absent, it's really important for them to check their uh, school email. I might send them a message about what we did in class, check uh, Google Classroom for any updated assignments in the stream. And if the student has not gotten a personal email from me and there's nothing posted in Google Classroom, it, it is a good idea for them to send me a message just to make sure that they are not missing anything. I, I encourage all lines of communication to make sure that we are all on track and successful this year. Talking Points is an app that um, the school uh, pushes for us to use and it's a really helpful app. Um, so far, I have uh, already put many of uh, numbers in there based on school tool contact information. So these are the little reminders I give about upcoming assignments, 
document assessments if uh, your student is missing any work or needs to stay after school. But this is just another communication tool uh, that is very helpful. And if you are not receiving these messages and would like to, please let me know. Um, the app is also free. Uh, it has extra features on it. Uh, otherwise, these messages get sent to you right through text. I appreciate your time and I thank you very much. Uh, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me or to call out the school. Talking Points is also a great place uh, to reach out to me. So I look forward to hearing from you and I hope we can make this a successful year. Thank you very much.